we're going to make the guac right now. So what I need to do is find a bowl. So again, we're going to use the Haas, um, Haas avocados. Sometimes they're hard to get fine right, but when they're like this dark color, just like touch them. They bend a little bit. Don't be like so aggressive with them, but just touch them if they like are a little soft, then that, that means they're good. You can also check the top, but sometimes I can't check the top all the time, but, uh, or it's misleading. That's the best word. It could be misleading. But we're gonna check these out. Once again, the pit is in the middle. So what you wanna do is be careful, be very, very, very careful. Make the slit on the top, push it down until you find the pit. Then rotate the avocado. Follow the, the pit, just go along that. And then you have the avocado. Once again, And you get the spoon. Oh wait, another trick. Forgot, we gotta take out the seed, right? So with that, just insert your knife, little tap, just to get in there. And twist it. We're gonna save these. And I'll show you why in a bit. The pit, get in there, twist. And take a spoon. And just scoop it out. Just like that. Spoon. Scoop it out. Wonderful, wonderful. Now I get my fork back again. Or you could do it with whatever. And you start smashing it up. You know what? Whisk. That's what I should be using. And then smash it, you know. And the way I season this, is I take the pico, a little bit of that, take a little bit of that, because it has all the seasoning in there, it has the lime juice and stuff like that. Some of the juice. And then you mix that. Then you mix. And then you have to adjust for seasoning. Salt. Avocado always absorbs a lot of salt, 
So I'm gonna put a little bit more li like lime juice in there. Cause I want that little like tang. That's my guac. That's my spoon. And my fork. And then what I do is to preserve it, because we're gonna use it for later. We're gonna make some tacos and stuff. I'm gonna put that as like my sauce, or not my sauce, but my ingredients. My plastic wrap. I love my plastic wrap probably as much as I love my aluminum foil. So I'm gonna put the, the seeds back. I'm gonna level this. So I'm gonna level the guac. I'm not gonna leave it all like so. Use your trusty spoon. Use your trusty spoon. Not back. I'm gonna put the pits back. They help it from keep from, keep them from oxidizing, and also a little bit of oil. And I'm gonna put plastic wrap over, over it. But don't seal it. The first layer, you can seal it after this, but the first layer you want to put as close to it to try to seal up as much air as possible. Or you can vacuum seal it. They hold vacuum seal. I, I might do that with that because I need to make this food last. <laughs> so that's it. Put that back down there. You got the guac and you got the pico. So when we come back, I'm gonna make some beef picadillo. Maybe a vegan one. I'm gonna help me make a vegan one. A vegan gluten free one. Uh, yeah, I think that might sound really good. So, thank you for watching this video and uh, stay tuned. Hope everybody's safe. Hope everybody's good. Hope everybody's uh, staying home the best they can keeping sane, doing well, and uh, got mad love for everybody. So I hope everybody's well, good spirits, and we'll get through this. Uh, we're in this together. All here together now. Thank you, and watch out for the next segment.